Lexi. It is episode of my podcast. I don't even know what episode this is because lately it's just been a lot of stuff going on. I don't know where to start. <laughs> it's like, where do I start? First of all, y'all, y'all like my new glasses. I just feel so smart and intelligent, which I am already, but it just brings it out more. It's just like, yes. And very unique and beautiful inside and out. Okay, and these niggas will try to steal your spirit. Steal that. Steal it. They would. They try to steal that. Some of these some of these little boys will try to steal that from me. I guess that's why I'm gonna start at. <laughs> Ooh. Um yeah, I start with his ass without saying too much, cause I ain't gonna say too much. But definitely I'm glad he blocked me because <laughs> God rejection is God um, protection. It's cause like I blocked him, y'all, and then my silly ass gonna unblock this nigga, and then he um and then he said his comment, and then he blocked me. It was like you was waiting to do that, Mr. Sassy, Mr. Sassy King. You was waiting to do that all along. Cause you know I was done with your ass. You know at this point I was like, yo, I'm just gonna get my nut. And we could just keep it short from that. We don't have to establish nothing because the type of nigga, type of vibe I'm getting from you is not even worth investing in. You know, so like I said, like when they can't control you, manipulate you or gaslight you, you're difficult. You become very difficult. You become very difficult. Even with simple questions and you just want them to be honest and be like, yo, all right, you you got a roster or whatever. But I'm trying to let you know, like, you the only person I'm fucking. So I'm coming to you like, yo, who else are you you doing to? Cause at the end of the day, let's be for real. Like it's so many diseases out here, so many things out here. These things could be avoided if you just be fucking honest. You know, but you don't want to be asking to skip around and you want to play in my face. And it's like, no. Like, I'm a bad bitch. You're not about to play in my face. You're not about to play in my face. And then for a moment, I was allowing that shit. I, I, for, for a moment, before I even went into my, like, I'm a bad bitch and I know who I am. I was allowing it because it was a lot of red flags. It was a lot of like, red flags and I was just like, fuck it. I'm going to annoy it. And that's what we do. Because I asked my friend today, I asked her a deep question. I was like, sis, how come us women, we ignore the red flags? You know, we got to take accountability. I got to take accountability that when I blocked his ass, his ass should have stayed blocked. You understand? I take accountability in that. And I take accountability of knowing that it was some, this guy was a straight narcissistic, uh, what is it? Misogynist pig. And <laughs> because, you know, like, and it's not even get on here. And, and I'm not trying to get on him. Bash him. That's the thing about it. I'm not trying to bash him, but just know that everything that looks good, ladies, you know, is not good for you or, or feel good is not. And that's what I learned. And that's what I learned because this person was very attractive and very smooth talking, but it was more of this and no action. And he thought because he had that appearance that it could get him by. You can get him by, get it by. It's like, no, you got to step it up. And when you tell him that, you get a man child. You get gaslighted. You get called difficult. You get these things. And it's like, y'all know the vibes and y'all know what I'm leading into. But I really was like, yo, why did I unlock this nigga again? You know, even if it was like, I just want some D type shit from him. Because he, he, he be honest, he laid it down. You know, he, I gave him his props. But that's all you are. You ain't got nothing else to, when you really like think logic and don't think with your emotions, ladies. And this is something that I'm still learning. That's why I'm not hard on myself. Because I used to be very hard on myself, but I'm going through this journey of not being hard on myself or me just saying that there's a reason why this happened. And I even go back to the point that I say to myself, 
what really attracted me to this energy within myself to really settle for this guy that was, you know, what attracted that in me, you know, and I had to do a lot of journaling, but that's in my friend, like, she was like, you know what it is, sis? It's just the high expectations that you have in your head, thinking that you're going to be able to change a guy, you know, thinking that we're enough. It's like, you can't change nobody that don't want to be changed. You know, ladies, y'all need to realize if a man going to change, he's going to change on his own. You know, you know, his mama couldn't do it. What makes you do it? You know, <laughs> you know, it goes back to, and you know what song's coming up to my, my head? Uh, K. Michelle, Can't Change a Man. That's my favorite song by her because she, girl, she put me on game when I heard that song. She said, if his mama can't do it, what makes you think? I was like, yes, yes. Better, better on letting him go. <laughs> But yeah, y'all. Um, yeah, like I've been connected with a lot of genuine people, y'all. Like for real, like and and I'm not saying it. I I'm actually feeling the connection. I'm actually feeling like feeling that uh they because one thing about it, you can tell off vibes. I'm very I'm the person that I could tell off if it's if it's negative or not. And like I said, with this guy, I. So I, I knew it was it wasn't a good vibe, but I still, you know, like I said, I was in that uh you can change a guy or you know, um just content of just fucking got I wouldn't say dignitized, but once it happened it was just like uh, uh, you know, we all have as women we all we all have them silly moments. I, I I never met a woman that didn't have that silly moment. And one thing about it, I'm glad I snapped out of it. I definitely prayed about it and sent it back to the pits of hell because definitely it was coming from the devil. It was coming from the devil himself. So, um But yeah, it's like I met this girl today. And she was so genuine. And she was just, we was just talking a lot about depression, how depression is real, y'all. Like, you never judge a person what by what you see from them. Because you never know what this person, what a person is going through. You never know. You just never know. You know, the more I talk about depression, the more I say, the more I realize that I'm connecting with people more often because people tend to not she is a, a light on that a light on that and as somebody that is depressed and that goes through the same thing the things that this girl was saying and i don't want to get into too much details but it was it was a lot that she was saying and i was just connecting to it it was just listen if you know you know and you one thing i say about myself vibes tell you a lot about a person don't, don't even have to open their mouth it's just a vibe of that person and it was good. We had a long, good conversation just about a lot of things and about just pouring in. Our, so it was like we found a lot of things in common. Like I was like, yeah, I'm that healing. I'm healing. That's why I'm, I'm I'm learning experience and I'm learning when to walk away and not to walk away. And I'm learning a lot of things. Like my healing journey been good. Definitely, I need to step it up by taking myself out, going on dates. Because I used to think that stuff is so awkward. Like, oh, if I go on a date. People gonna be looking at me some type of way, think I'm lonely and all this stuff. But deep down, people be in relationships and people be having people around them and they still be feeling lonely. And don't matter what you do, somebody's always gonna have something to say about you. It does not matter. They talked about Jesus Christ and he died on the cross for all of our sins. You understand? So it's like, you gotta get out your head, you know, and I was like, I'm definitely going to start taking myself out to the movies. I'm definitely going to start having me uh, a dinner date. Uh, um, taking myself fun places and enjoying my own company. And one of the things that me and my my other friend, my sis was talking about because I went to my sis' house. Lauren, I love her to death. And we was having a, 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 another deep conversation like, about our friendship like you know how we want to do stuff for each other we want to we want to be honest we want to be become more closer we want to you know if i have something i'm feeling the way don't never shy away you come to me i come to you we talk about it we um 
our bond just grow even stronger. And, like, and I used to pray for relationships like this. This is how God is real. God is real. Because these are things like I used to have in the past. I used to have fake friendships. Fake friendships. You know, people that wasn't my friend. And people just would just listen to me just to listen and gossip about it. And you know what I'm saying? And, and um, we got so deep. Like, I was just telling her, like, you know... I ain't even really like old dude like that. You know, now to think about it, it was just that I, the sex was good. And she was like, girl, this is the thing. When you learn your body, you don't crave all of it. It's not so, when you learn how to make your own body feel good and you play with yourself and you touch yourself, you are gonna know that you're not gonna crave that much of a sex. You're not gonna crave that much of it because you're gonna have control. You know, you don't let a man tell you how to feel during sex. You have to know how you feel in general, you know, and it was so deep. It was just, <laughs> it was so deep. And I was like, and I watched the video and, and before this conversation, I had watched the video a long time ago and the lady said the same thing. It was some lady, she said the same thing. She said, you have to figure out what makes you happy when you do stuff like that and I'm coming from and I was just saying to my sister I'm coming from a place where like we don't do that because we we judge ourselves we always in our head I'm an overthinker so I'm always in my head I don't say I say to myself oh doing that I'm I'm feeling guilty by touching myself I'm feeling guilty by doing that but no this is how you learning yourself and this is how you become more confident you become more confident you don't become shy because I know when I have a sexual encounter I tend to get nervous and scared. Um, it's not because the person made me nervous. It's just my anxiety and me overthinking, period. But when you're more comfortable with yourself and you're you're that, you're not going to think like that. You know, you're going to have more control. You're going to have, you know, it, it brings, you know, the, the sexy side. The, and not saying that, I, not saying that you don't have it, but you become more comfortable. More. If you know, ladies, write in the comments if you know but definitely i feel like it, it becomes definitely more spicier you know you um because you're secure you're secure then with you're secure within yourself and you know what you like and you know what you don't like you know and i'm figuring out what i like and what i don't like. who gave us a break and i'm so happy that it gave me a break all the way into october 23rd because um school and work y'all it's a lot i'm full-time at etra and it's a lot when i get home like i said i don't want to do no work i'll be tired already you know i'm sitting down i'm answering phone calls 24 7 but you know like i said it, it's just overwhelming that whole thing is just overwhelming so i was just i'm very appreciative of the break that i have but there's some amazing people i'm just like thinking about it now and, and i had a conversation with um people at my job like it's just like when you start to pray about these things and, and you pray for genuine connections, you pray for this or you pray for that. And it's not going to happen when you want it to happen. But trust me, you believe and you. I've been meeting so many genuine people like we like I'm not talking about. We generally check up on each other like, yo, sis, you OK? How you doing? Yo, bro, you okay? Like, I didn't, I'm a girl, I didn't have that much guy friends. And now I have, like, a good amount of guy friends. <laughs> it is like, they don't want to fuck me. Like, the guy friends that I used to have, they wanted to fuck me. And these guy friends, they don't want to fuck me. They're mad cool. I mean, it, it's just so different. And it's, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this phase. I feel like I'm going through different phases. God is just putting me through a lot of different phases and I'm grateful for every opportunity even with the person that I dated like I said I learned so much about the things that I won't accept <laughs> you know I won't accept I'm, I won't accept somebody that's a child you know we getting older we know when somebody likes you we know when somebody a, a person pursue a person do things we're not I'm not gonna re you know what I'm saying and when you find yourself repeating yourself it, it's time to exit it doesn't matter about the D. It's time to exit. And that's what I tell myself. It's time to exit. But yeah, y'all. <laughs> I just laughing. I just I'm just laughing because I am in a good mood. Like it's like peace is 
it, it, it's falling in place for me. It's, it's, I'm talking to God every day. I'm asking God to guide me through every decision that I see, uh, every decision that I do, because even the decision that you do, it may not be right, but God is going to walk you through it. God is, if you get down on your knees and you ask God every day to walk you through these tough these decisions that you make, it could be a tough decision. You get down on your knees, God is going to get down there and walk you through it. Like I had a moment at my job. I was talking to my friend. I don't know where I'm going to be, where I'm going to be in the next 20 years because I don't want to work here. You know, I'm very appreciative of my job, but I don't want to work there for the next 20 years or anything. And, you know, I want to, I want more. I just was crying. Like I got emotional when she was like, Deja. You don't know where you're going to be, but right now, you got to focus on right now. I think a lot of people, and including myself, I do that a lot. I don't focus. I focus so much on the future, the future, the future, the future, the future. What, what, how my future going to be? How is this going to be? How is this going to be? No, you have to focus on the now. You're going to date and go on tomorrow. Look at things. I'm starting to look at things like... If they don't bring the good out of you or they don't have you change your perspective and maybe think like, because I'm a Pisces, sometimes we can go into fairy tale land and you know, we could stay in a land that's so perfect. And sometimes you need somebody to like, you know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta calm, you gotta bring it down. And we just be talking about so many topics and it just be so interesting. It'd be so interesting. Like the chemistry is there, but. I'm, I don't force nothing. If it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. Are you sure? I'm going to take down my hair. I'm going to take down my hair to tell you. To show you. This lady, me and my sister, we went to go get our hair done. This lady did my hair so nice. When I tell you, she took her time and did my hair. Like, I got there at 5 o'clock. I didn't leave until a, hmm, 12. I'm about to say 1 o'clock. I didn't leave until 12.45. But I got these braids. I don't know what they call them. My edges just look crazy, but um, they're so cute and neat, y'all. I just love doing that. It's like, that's the thing. I just gotta continue to pour into myself. Cause <clears throat> pouring into yourself, guys, is key. Don't forget about yourself. Because honestly, ain't nobody gonna give you that love that you was searching for, that you desperately searching for. Nobody can give it to you. Nobody on this earth. When God said, don't trust men, he's not talking about men as a men. He's talking about men as a men and women. Because they lie to you, they deceive you, they hurt you, they they will manipulate you their duel they want to be genuine people you know so that love that i'm looking for and everything i'm pouring into myself i'm getting i'm waking up in the morning i'm saying my affirmation i'm putting on my christian my christian music i'm listening to my music i'm putting all all these things on and that's the thing this guy that I was dating try to break my spirit. And it's like, you can't break my spirit. You can't break me. I'm God child. You God child too. But you can't you 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 can't break my spirit. You don't know how far I come. When you come from when you come so far, you can't let you can't let things you start to look at it from a perspective. It's not you. It's them. It's how their mind was programmed. It's how they are. It's not you. You're not the problem. You're not the problem. So you don't take things personal. I don't take nothing personal. I'm becoming not to take a lot of things personal. It's, it's, it's you. I read your energy. I know what you're about. And I exit. And I exit. And if I don't exit, I continue to ask God to pray that I firmly get it. I finally, I finally get it. Cause I will, I will. Just all about taking your time, taking take your time in everything you do. That's 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 what I'm doing. Taking my time, taking my time. Cause I'll get there. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. There's so many blessings happening. You know, like 
things that I pray about, God is giving me. God is giving me. So continue to pray, hold the faith, don't matter how it looks. You know, I am where I need to be. I will be okay. Even when it look hard, I will be okay. I love y'all guys. I'm about to be out because I'm about to make you something to eat. But I do love y'all guys very much. Please support my podcast. Please leave a comment. Please talk, tell me what would y'all like to hear. If y'all want me to do a story time because I could do story times for days, you know. But um, yeah, show love. Support me. I love you guys. And don't ever let nobody try to break your spirit. I'm out.